You there? How did you get in here? Wait, close the door behind you. Are you a fellow Dungeoneer, perchance? Would you like to know a secret? My name's Michael. I've stumbled upon seven surefire ways to trick your fellow players into RPing their hearts out. Trust me, you're not going to see this in the books. Right here, on the initiative. Welcome back! On this channel we like to talk about Dungeons and Dragons and give advice to players and DMs about role-playing different kinds of creatures and characters. If you're new here and that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe. In my experience playing D&D, the issue of how to role-play or how much to role-play always seems like a point of contention. Today we're going to talk about 7 tips to help ease your fellow players into that role-playing mindset. Tip number 1. Have a pre-game talk. Ask your friends what they think about roleplay. How do they feel about dialogue, character drama, funny voices? Would they be okay with in-character conversations or conflict? It's good to find out where your fellow players stand on these issues. Otherwise, you could freak your friend out when your half-orc barbarian suddenly asks them a heartfelt question about their backstory, and the rest of the tavern goes quiet to hear the juicy tidbit. Tip number two, speak in character. Don't expect others to speak in the Queen's English if you're not willing to do it first. Also, keep in mind, accents are not required in roleplay. As long as you're willing to speak in the first person, that should be enough to ease your fellow players in as well. Next thing you know, your fellow players will be schmoozing with the NPCs at the tavern, trying to get the scoop on the latest null ambush in town. Number 3. Ask questions. Okay, so you find your party relaxing at camp after a hard day's adventuring. And you've gotten your friends to speak as their characters in first person. Now what? Walk up to their character, sit down beside them, and ask some questions. Ask their ranger why they took up the bow and started hunting goblins in the first place. A lot of times people don't think they can roleplay because they don't know what to say to the other characters, but backstory is a good place to start. Having an in-character conversation establishes rapport between you two, giving the other players things they can reference later. Who knows, they may eventually begin asking the half-orc why he's afraid of water. As rapport builds, this process will get easier and easier. Tip number four, listen to your fellow players. Now that your new ranger friend has had a few conversations with you, and the back and forth is starting to get a little more natural, the ranger may begin addressing you directly. If that happens, then you can be certain that your friend has taken the red pill. Welcome them to the world of RP by listening to them. But don't just listen to what they're saying. Try to figure out their intent. Whether your friend knows it or not, there is an intent behind every role-playing interaction. If you can find it, it can give you clues on how to move forward with the conversation, along with providing both characters a satisfying exchange, thus further developing rapport. For example, if your ranger asks your half-orc about his fear of water, before saying something like, NONE OF YOUR BUSINESS, HUMAN! Think about why your friend initiated the conversation. Perhaps they want to relay their own character's fears to establish common ground. Maybe they want to know more about the fear so that they can help your character to overcome it. Either way, a quick appraisal will inform you to open up with your ranger about the backstory. This step is very important and you need to make sure that you don't shut down the interaction prematurely, as this could send the message to your friend that you don't care about their character. And then you'll have missed a golden opportunity. Tip number five, let them in on a secret. This step is a little different from the other ones, as this one can be done out of character. Consider letting your fellow PCs in on a secret about your background. If they know, they can help the secret come to light in a dramatic way. Or you can all giggle together when your chaotic, evil, devil-packed, sworn warlock claims to enjoy kittens, rainbows, and worshipping Bahamut the Platinum Dragon. Number 6. Reevaluate character relationships after a major battle or plot point. Was your cleric busy looting coppers off of, off of goblin corpses while your poor barbarian fought for his life inside a gelatinous cube? You sure as hell better let him know about it after the battle, if you're not dissolved. Take some time to think about how this changes your character's relationship. How would a barbarian react to such a betrayal? Do they point their axe at the cleric's head and demand retribution? If so, just be sure to keep it playful, as there are plenty of ways to make character conflicts lighthearted. Be sure to describe your barbarian maybe being covered in snot, a piece of their rage field ear melts off while they threaten the cleric. 
Funny additions like this can cut out some of the emotional bleed while keeping the juicy roleplay. Also, unless previously discussed, try to avoid PvP at all costs. A little here and there can be fun, but remember, D&D is a cooperative game with team-based objectives. And finally, number seven, rock the boat. Sometimes in D&D, your fellow party members may be too timid to initiate an interaction that may risk the entire party's lives. Well, that's what the 5 in Barbarian is for. Waltz right up there and take that black magical shard. What are the odds it'll be cursed? Doing foolish things creates the most fertile ground for amazing roleplay situations. Just keep in mind that everyone remembers the time the rogue didn't check for traps and exploded in a fiery doom. They don't remember all those other times you prodded every 5 foot square with a 10 foot pole. Sometimes it's up to you to help escalate the narrative towards an interesting moment. But do be careful with this one. Your friends may never forget the time you insulted the green dragon, causing a TPK, and they may never invite you back. And that's all the secrets I have for now. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like. If you want me to let you in on more secrets, hit subscribe. If you'd like to be notified when these secrets become available, toll the dead. Also, don't forget our Twitter at Initiative Roll. But before you go, clerics around the world, remember this. Loot first. The others probably have healing potions anyway.